Shalom, welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi, and in this video, we'll learn about the God of Gods, Elohe Ha Elohim. Let's read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 14. We read here Hen la donai Elohe Ha Hashamayim Ushme Hashamayim Ha Ares Vecholla Sherba means Behold. To Hashem, our God, or thy God, Elohecha, your God, belong the heaven and the heaven of heavens, Hashemaim, Ushme Hashemaim. So all heavenly realms, if there are any one above the other, plus the earth and all that is within it, belongs to Adonai, Hashem. Therefore, in verse 17, we read, Ki Adonai Elohechem, Hu Eloheha Elohim, Ve'adoneha Adonim, Ha'el Hagadol, Ha'gibor Ve'hanora, Asher Lo Yisapanim, Ve'lo Yikak Shohad. So, what does it say? Ki Adonai Elohechem, Hu Eloheha Elohim, The Lord your God, is Elohe Ha Elohim. Sheme Ha Shemaim, that is the heaven and the heaven of heavens, belong to him. And therefore, he is Elohe Ha Elohim. He is the forces above all force, forces, God of all gods. Same uh, phrase in English, but slightly different Hebrew um, phrase is used in the book of Joshua, Yehoshua 22 and 22. We read here, El Elohim Adonai, El Elohim Adonai, Hu Yodea. Hashem, God of Gods, Hashem, God of Gods, He knows. So this phrase then, El Elohim Adonai is God of Gods. Here it is not Eloheha Elohim. Here the word is El Elohim. El is singular. So Elohim is plural. So the singular God above the plural gods or the plural forces is who? Is Yodhe Vahe Hashem. Similar Verse again in the book of Psalms, Tehillim 136, verses 1 to 2. Hudu la donai kito. O give thanks to the Lord, to Hashem, because he is good. Ki leolam chazdo. For his loving kindness endures, or it is forever. Hudu le elohe ha elohim. Ki leolam chazdo. Give thanks or praise to the God of Gods. Eloheha, Elohim is exactly the same phrase that we read earlier in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 17. Now, another phrase, this one in Aramaic, this is uttered by Nebuchadnezzar the king in the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 47. And what I'm reading here is Aramaic. Although the words and the letters, uh, you know, the, the, the letters and the vowels, they're all Hebrew. Ane malcha, malcha, le Daniel ve Amar. So the king answered to Daniel and said, ve Amar, min keshot. So this is out of truth, or this is truth. The Elahachon, your God, who Elah, Elahin. He is, your God is a God of Gods. Who, that is He, is Elah Elahin. Elah Elahin. This word Elah is uh, equivalent to Eloah in Hebrew. Uh, it means God and this is singular. The word for this, the plural word for this is Elahin, ending with Nun. And uh, the plural word in Hebrew for Eloah is Elohim, ending with M. Okay, that's the difference between Aramaic and Hebrew. Here it is Aramaic, 
Elah Elahim, God of Gods. The concept is the same. Again in the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 36, we come across this phrase where, uh, so this guy, this king, speaks things against the God of Gods. Ve'al El Elim is used. El Elim. So El again is singular. But the word Elim is the plural of El. So what is Elohim then? Elohim is the plural of Eloah, not El. El Elim, that is God of Gods. Okay, so various phrases about the God of Gods. So the God of Gods, there is only one God of Gods, yod he vav Adonai, Hashem. Um, that is his name. Um, okay, it is pronounced variously by different people. People ask me, why are you not pronouncing? I have did, I did pronounce once in a while. We can pronounce in private. Uh, but again, you know, just as we don't call our fathers by their names, um, you know, you need to respect his name too. Okay, let's move on. On the topic of God of God, say Psalm 45, 6 and 7. We read uh, 6 and 7 would be 7 and 8 in the Westminster Leningrad Codex. In the Hebrew Bible, the verses are 7 to 8, whereas uh, in the regular Christian Bible is 6 to 7. Okay. Kisecha Elohim Olam Va'ed. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. Well, actually, this could be read as. Kisecha Elohim, this Elohim could be read as an adjective, in which case your divine throne is forever and ever. But again, when Solomon sat on the throne of God, it is written that Solomon sat on the throne of Yodhe Vavhe. Where? Not up in the heavens. Here down on this earth. When Solomon was crowned and he sat upon the throne, we read, I don't have the verses here on the screen, but we can you can search it out. Uh, we read that he sat on the throne of the Lord, on the throne of Hashem. And uh, in the same verse, or just a couple of verses above, it says that they worshipped Hashem and the king. So they fall down and prostrated, uh, worshipped Hashem. And the, and the phrase is added, and the king. So here the king becomes basically a representative of God sitting on the throne. So, Kisecha Elohim Olam Va'ed. So obviously this is referring to the king. Now this of course is used and applied for Jesus in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verses 8 to 9. In either case, the whole, the whole text is re uh, repeated in uh, in Hebrews as well. If we go further and read, Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness, therefore God thy God. Elohim Elohecha Shemen Soson Mechaverecha So he has anointed Meshachacha Meshachacha So he has anointed who? Elohim Elohecha Whose God? The, the God of this other person who is called God who sat on the throne. Okay, so whoever sat on the throne, about whoever it is told your throne is forever and ever, that person has a God above him. Okay? Elohim Elohecha, God thy God. Exact verse here in English is... Uh, quoted in uh, Hebrews 1, 8 to 9. So whether it is Solomon or Jesus or anyone, uh, you know, Mashiach, Messiah is referred to, what we read very clearly here is that he has a God above him and therefore we read Elohim, Elohecha. And this is very serious, guys. I mean, some of um, us uh, don't pay attention to this. Uh, especially uh, on the Christian side. <clears throat> yod hei vav hei Adonai is Elo, Elo, Elohei ha Elohim. 
El Elohim Adonai. Okay, this title is exclusive, exclusive to Yodhe Vavhe. It is not applicable to anyone else. You can search, it's there in the New Testament, you can search it, you can't find it. God of Gods, you cannot find it. It only applies to Yodhe Vavhe. Okay, why? By the, I told you the reason there is one Elohim here who is sitting, he says, you know, Solomon sat and it says he sat on the throne of the Lord as a representative and therefore called Elohim. Moses was also called Elohim. Uh, he was sent to Pharaoh and uh, Aaron was his prophet. The judges of Israel were called Elohim. There are other people who are called Elohim here in Psalm 82 verse 1 and 6. We read, let's read this, Mizmor La Asaf. This is the psalm of Asaf. Elohim Nitzav Ba'adat El. Elohim is standing in the congregation or the, in, the, the, in the secret, in the congregation of El. El is God, singular. In the congregation of God, who is standing? Elohim. Who is this Elohim? It's singular, Nitzav. It says Nitzav. Okay, this is not plural. So one person is standing in the congregation of God. El. The Kerev Elohim Yishpot and in the midst he is judging among the gods. There are other gods. Elohim. Same word here. So how do you know these guys are plural? Why is this gods and why is this not gods? Gods. Because this Elohim here has a verb in itself. That's why it is singular. singular standeth is singular. Whereas these gods Although there is no verb associated here, we understand they are plural because in the verse 6 we read, Ani Amarti, and I said to, and I said, Elohim Atem. You guys are Elohim. Atem, that's plural. Atem. If it is singular, then I say, you say, Elohim Ata. It's not Ata, it's Atem. Elohim Atem means ye are gods, or you are gods. Uvne Elion Kullachem. You, you are all the sons of Elion, sons of El Elion, sons of the Most High. Who are these? The gods, Elohim. So, somebody is a son of the Most High, somebody is a son of God, and is called God, Elohim, here. Yeah, there are plenty of them here. There are multiple in Psalm 82, okay? And therefore, Yodhe Vavhe is the God of Gods, Elohe Ha Elohim, El Elohim, those are the titles that he has exclusively, no one else. Psalm 96, verse 4 and 5, let's read this. Ki gadol Adonai um khulal me'od. For great is Hashem and greatly to be praised. Nora hu al kol Elohim, he is Feared about he is he is he is brilliant or Nora, which is he is awesome about all gods. I'll call Elohim. Ki call Eloheha Amim, all the gods of the peoples. Okay, nations. It's written in the peoples. Elilim. There it says idols. It's worthless vanities. That's the meaning. It's not necessarily idol. You don't have to have an idol. The word is not uh, idol, actually. Elilim means vanity or worthless. Vadonai Shemaim Asa. But Hashem made the heavens. Okay? So that, but he must be given the glory. We have to give him the glory that he deserves. And he is. God of all gods. You cannot equate anyone equal to him, neither can you put anyone above him. He has his own uni, he has a unique place. Everyone else is subordinate to Yodhe Vav He. Okay? And especially the Israelites, they have a covenant with him that they must worship only Yodhe Vav He and no other Elohim. Whoever it may be, whoever it may be. Now go back again 
Psalm 82, there are other Elohim who are called gods and they are the Bene Elion Kolachim, all of them sons of the Most High. This verse is quoted in John chapter 10. You can go and read that in the context. Also Psalm 45, there, are, there is an Elohim who has an Elohim above him. All these other cases of Elohim or the Elohim of other nations, whatever a kind of Elohim, right? Yodhe Vauhe is the God of all other Elohim. He is Eloheha Elohim and therefore the Israelites were, are forbidden and have been made a covenant. God made a covenant with them and the first very covenant, the first covenant in the Ten Commandments goes like this. It doesn't say you have to do first. It, it identifies himself. Anohi Adonai Elohecha. That's the first line. Okay. I am the Lord thy God. I am Yodhe Vavhe, your God. I am Hashem, your God. Asher Hoseticha me Eretz Mitzrayim, who have brought you out of the land of Egypt. That's the identification. He's, this is why the name is important and the name is no other name, Yodhe Vavhe. He is their God. You cannot go and uh, missionize and, uh, you know, cajole or deceive these people to worshipping any other god than Yodhe Vavhe. It is not, it is not permitted. You shall, cannot do that. Anokhi Adonai Elohecha asher hotsetika me eres Mitzrayim me beit avadim from the house of bondage. Lo yihelecha Elohim aherim alpanai. You should not have, it's very clearly he's saying, thou shalt not have, no, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Lo yichelecha, you shall not have to thyself Elohim acherim, other Elohim alpanai, before my face. Before my face, don't get other Elohim and don't worship. Therefore, no Israelite should ever worship any other Elohim bearing any other name than Yodhe Vauhe. Okay, that's number one. And for anyone who is attracting them and trying to turn them around to worship any other Elohim other than Yodhe Vauhe, he is not doing right. So stop that activity is what I suggest because that is what is written in the book of Exodus. Okay, here we read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 35 uh, and 39. Atta haretha ladath ki adonai hu ha Elohim ein od milvado. And to thee it was shown in the mind, it was shown, it was ladath, to know, right? that you might know that Hashem is the God, there is no one else beside Him. Adonai huha Elohim einod milvado veadata hayom vehashevota el levavcha ki Adonai huha Elohim bashamayim umimaal veal haaretz mitachat einod. So know therefore this day, consider it in your heart that Adonai, he is God in the heaven above and upon the earth beneath, there is none else, ain od. So the Israelites were told in the clearest terms not to worship anyone else except Adonai because any other Elohim is not really Elohim when compared to Yodhe Vauhe because he alone is the true Elohim. Adonai huha Elohim Ain od milvado. There is none beside him. People may be called Elohim for various reasons. Uh, the God himself says. But he is the God of gods and the true God. The only one who deserves the title Elohim. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon and also do comment and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you very much.